Hey guys, it's Dr. Hayden. Today we're going to talk about retinal detachments. We're going to talk about the signs, the symptoms, and most importantly, what to do if you think you're having one. If that interests you, stick around. All right guys, today we're going to talk about retinal detachments. But before we do, I just want to say a couple things. Welcome to the Eye Care and Wellness channel. If you haven't been here before, we're going to talk about all things to do with eye care, wellness, and contact lenses, glasses, and almost anything you could think of to do with the eyes. So if that interests you, please consider subscribing. Please hit that like button if you like what I have to say. Let's get on to the retinal detachment. The first thing I want to explain is what is a retinal detachment? And a retinal detachment is a sight-threatening condition. And as you can see behind me, the retina at the top is pulling away from the inside of the eye. And that, left like that, will cause the retina to die off and not be able to transmit the images to the brain and you won't be able to see well out of your eye. So let's talk about what the signs and the symptoms are. If you've noticed a lot of flashing lights off to the side, they're typically peripherally and you may be indoors and know that it's not lightning, that you know that there's something going on. They're usually associated with a lot of floaters and floaters can be particles that kind of float in front of your vision and you're having trouble seeing through them. You have a lot of them. Uh, that's usually indicative of a retinal tear or detachment. And then other people will notice it as almost a shade coming down in front of their vision. And if you experience any of those, I am going to tell you what to do. One of the things that can mimic a retinal detachment can be an ophthalmic migraine. And with an ophthalmic migraine, you can get flashing lights, you can get a lot of floaters, but the difference is, is it's going to settle out and go away in 20 to 30 minutes. And if your symptoms do not, then you're going to have to assume there's something going on with your retina and you need to be seen. So what I want you to do, if that's the case, is call your eye doctor, let them know your, your symptoms and see what they say. If you're having them like on a Sunday or late at night and you can't get a hold of your eye doctor's office, look for, even Google retinal specialists near me or look for um, retinal specialists in the area and call their office and see what they suggest that you do on off hours. Many places will have a, um, many areas will have a retinal center that you could go to. Like in Boston, if my patients call me on a Sunday and, and they're symptomatic, I'll tell them go, to go right to the Mass Eye and Ear in Boston, which is a 24 hour um, essentially emergency room for the eyes but a lot of places don't have that. So I would try your, call your eye doctor first. If you can't get a hold of them, look for a retinal center around you. And then lastly, Google retinal specialist near me. And if all else fails, it's gonna have to be the emergency room. But again, don't mess around. Get, um, get there as soon as you can and get it taken care of as quickly as you can because it can make a big difference. If you're caught early, Maybe they can just do a laser treatment or some cryopexy, which is a freezing of the retina around it. But if, it's, if it takes too long and the retina fully detaches off, it can be retinal surgery and that's not fun for anybody. So I'm not gonna go into the types of retinal surgeries that you could have with a retinal detachment. All I want you to know is that if you're getting a lot of flashes and floaters or a, a shade maybe pulled down over your vision, and it lasts more than 20 minutes, I want you to get on the horn and call a eye doctor, hopefully first that you know, and if not, someone that can help you quickly. So now let's talk about what causes a retinal detachment. It can be many things. Obviously, um, family history it can play into it big. Also, you could have trauma to either the eye or the face that could cause a retinal detachment, and that's pretty obvious. You just got hit, and all of a sudden you have a lot of flashing lights and floaters. You need to get looked at right away. Other causes could be extremely, if you're extremely nearsighted, you're at higher risk of retinal holes, tears, and detachments. 
And people who have just had cataract surgery tend to be a little higher risk. And then lastly, there's also something called a PVD, a posterior vitreal detachment, which by the way, many times mimics a retinal detachment and yet it's harmless. You still need to get looked at, but a lot of times a PVD will mimic the um, retinal detachment and also put you at a little bit higher risk in the next four to six weeks of a retinal detachment. So that's what I wanted to tell you about the retinal detachment. More than anything, what to do if you think you're having symptoms. It's very important to be seen right away. I think I got that point across. On a side note, both Sugar Ray Leonard had uh, retinal detachments from his boxing career, and uh, Joseph Pulitzer of the Pulitzer Prize fame also uh, lost a lot of vision in his lifetime with retinal detachments. It is definitely something to get taken care of right away. So I hope you enjoyed this. Take care, and if you like what I had to say, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. Thanks so much. Take care.